today was an attempt to bring all our nurture groups in Stevenage together. And to give them an opportunity to come out of school and have a positive learning experience. A music nurture group is where we have identified some of our teachers who work in a non-traditional way to encourage students who might struggle, whether it is socially, whether it's emotionally. And it is giving the child a focus because rather than just having an intervention for them, they become part of a research project. Our sessions, the nurture group sessions, are student-led and we have found that that has actually got a profound impact on the progress the children has made. As a head of centre, I will have very close relations with the Senkos in each school and I will make sure that I go and visit them and we will talk through the process of what is going to happen. They are also given the opportunity to look at the wide range of tutors we have to offer and they match which tutor would meet the needs of their school the best. So I like to find out how music makes these children feel and often at the beginning of the lesson I will just say first of all I'll just ask them have they had a good morning and then we sort of might play some music I might have it on the backing track on my iPod play a piece of music and it'll just calm them down and then I ask them how they actually feel about it and the words that come out with a sort of calm relaxed unstressed and then we actually play the piece of music I'll often give them a simple piece of music that they can play to the backing track and they really enjoy it and they really feel kind of very chilled and just really, really relaxed. And I think the effects of, of the music actually on these children, once they start to realise how it affects them, they can take that into everyday life. So they might be, um, you know, at home and they might have had a row with, with their older brother or being cross with their mum or being told off for, I don't know, not doing the washing up. And sometimes these children, they, they, don't, they can't express how they feel sometimes in words so sometimes just being able to let them play something they can get rid of their frustration on the instrument or they can just calm themselves down <laughs> So when I first started my very first nurture group, um, I had a student who was really withdrawn, he was really um, reluctant to answer questions or share his ideas um, and he would talk really negatively about himself and say you know, that he wasn't very good at anything. And as the weeks have progressed and he's learnt new skills on, um, on different instruments, he started to really come into himself and he's the first person to put his hand up and give ideas and to suggest things that we should do, which is really, really lovely. We um, did an exercise where we wrote down all the positive things about us on a piece of paper and he had this massive list of all these wonderful things. And then what was really nice was that he was also adding to his other friends in the group's list. So he was saying, oh, you know, you're really good at this, you're really kind and you're really good at football. So it was really nice to see him looking inside himself and then also commenting on other students. My approach today has been to, to bring everyone to, together to try and coalesce the activities kind of on the fly. I mean, we've known certain things that we wanted to try along the way. We put into a circumstance where they don't exactly know what the rules are or what's going to happen, so you're always on, slightly on guard in a way. I'm waiting for the band to join me. Oh, there they are. And then as the day reveals itself, you can, you can generally see people relaxing, and in this case the young people relaxing. It's important to, to move, to be physical, to move things around, to change up the action and to, you know, to not be stuck on one instrument but to, to do daft things with it. I think that's one of the, one of the things that's quite useful. Um, and but obviously part of my skill is, is, is being here using things that aren't really instruments. So they're kind of levelers. They level the field and they do that for they do that for this kind of client group and they do it for adults and yeah, it's very very useful. That's what I'm talking about. We've been very excited to be taking part in the nurture group um, uh, that's been run by the Stevenage Music Centre. Uh, we've selected children for the project who um, suffer from um, anxiety and also sadly bereavement. 
The environment has been a very nurturing, a very safe environment for them where the children have been able to learn to express themselves and express their feelings. We've seen the children's confidence grow and they've really enjoyed these sessions and parents have also noticed an impact um, at home as well. Today's uh, Music Nurture Group has given our pupils a lot more um, freedom to be themselves, express their emotions, but also meet other people from other schools and make new friends. It's an opportunity to, to, to grow. They're teaching them skills that sometimes you're going to be thrown a curveball and you might have to problem solve and I think that's been applied with the music teaching as well. Learning new things is fun, like still pans and ukuleles. And piano. I love it. When I go to my nurture group I feel more relaxed and yes. um, and I feel more free than at school. Yeah.